I'm back, fresh, live and direct with another episode of that deep shit, right? Where we connect the dots. And in today's episode, we're going to cover the subject of melatonin, melanin, the pineal gland, and a couple of other extra credit little topics we're going to throw in there just for fun. So let's get started. Melatonin, what is it? Melatonin is a hormone that gets secreted from the pineal gland. Kind of like serotonin. Serotonin is like the opposite. Serotonin gets secreted in the pineal, from the pineal gland in the daytime, and melatonin gets secreted from the pineal gland at night. Um, usually starting around 9 p.m. till about mm, 5 a.m. is the hours for uh, secretion from melatonin. Now, there's a peak hour that they say that has the highest potential of the most secretion of melatonin if you get a proper night's sleep. And that's at 3 a.m. Now, I don't think that it's a coincidence that 3 a.m. is the highest peak hour for melatonin because coincidentally, coincidentally, um, 3 a.m. is known as the witching hour or in simple layman's terms, the hour where the, the layers of the dimensions are at its thinnest to where you can receive more astral projections, um, receive more uh, uh, downloads, uh, um, and more different kind of communications from um, the spirit realm, all right? Um, melatonin is also a neurotransmitter. And anytime that you're dealing with the neurons or the nervous system, you're dealing with electricity. So that just goes to show you that Melatonin is electric, okay? Um, melatonin is also responsible for your circadian rhythms, and that means telling your body when to go to sleep and when to wake up. It's like your um, own personal biological alarm clock, okay? Um, melatonin is also used uh, for healing. So you know when they say, um, you know, you're sick, get some rest, get some rest, okay? Um, this is when the body shuts down and starts to prepare itself. So um, sleeping, resting, when melatonin is getting secreted into the body, into the bloodstream, into the muscles, into the nervous system, helps the body repair itself, all right? Um, let's see. Oh, yeah, melatonin also, this is the difference between melatonin and melanin. Well, first of all, let me get into this. Just to give you proof of melatonin being in your body and what it feels like, because you're probably like, well, melatonin, what is that? Okay, have you ever woke up, right? Like, either woke up way too early or didn't get enough sleep and then you woke up? You know how you feel that tingle all over your body, like, mm, you're like, you're just like, man, you know, like you don't really want to get up. It's hard to get up. You're still groggy. You're like, uh, I didn't get enough sleep. I'm very, very tired. That is the sign of melatonin still being very heavy in your system, in your body. All right. So that's just what melatonin feels like in the body. Okay. Now, melatonin, which is not commonly known, is the, uh, the vehicle, if you will, that delivers the enzyme or the pigment uh, melanin, okay? Like I said, there's a difference between melatonin and melanin. Now, melanin is believed to be the pigment that causes people's skin color to be brown, okay? Or darker, or black, brown, or darker shades other than white, okay? But it's more than that. Gland is um, uh, calcified 
uh, from birth. You know, they can work to uncalcify the pineal gland, um, but for the most part, uh, there are people that are born with calcified pineal glands. Okay. Um, needless to say, uh, you know, not one group is prone to be anything other than the other group. But there are uh, people that are born with uh, less calcification on their pineal gland. I'll just say that, okay? All right, so when you have melatonin and melanin, these things going together, this is the perfect harmony in the universe. This is what the universe is all about. And we'll get into uh, the connection between the universe, melatonin and melanin, later in the video. So, like I said, most people believe that melanin is just a pigment that's responsible for skin color, but it's a lot more than that. Um, it's also very, very sensitive to vibration, okay? Um, it's very, very sensitive to, to uh, sound. Um, it's very sensitive to light. Um, it enhances all of the five senses. Um, when you have the connection of melatonin and melanin, all of the five senses are heightened, all right? Um, it's also very uh, reactive to marijuana, okay? Marijuana does something very different to uh, the pigment or enzyme of melanin, okay? Um, it also, melanin is also responsible for um, the civility, uh, being calm. Um, psychic abilities, things of that nature. One thing about melanin, um, the melanin is what they call, you know, if you ever heard the phrase, the darker the berry, the sweeter the juice? Well, the juice is melanin. That's what they're talking about. So the darker the berry, the sweeter the juice. The darker the melanin, the sweeter the juice, all right? Um, one thing about melanin, when it comes into contact with uh, synthetic foreign substances such as alcohol, um, such as anything that's synthetic, it doesn't react very well to that, okay? Um, yeah, I'm not even going to go into any details about that because I don't want to be um, stereotypical in this video, but I could get, I can go there because you know how, you know what I'm saying, we like to get. You know how like niggas like to get, man. Especially your dark skin brothers. When they get that liquor in them, that when they get that liquor, you know how they act a fool? That's the melanin reacting to that liquor, man. The eyes get red. You know, they get that look, they kinda out of their body. You better stop messing with me. I'm a fuck a black over. Stop the work. That's the melanin reacting to the liquor. Um, melanin is a carbon-based pigment. It's based off of carbon, okay? It's six electrons, six protons, six neutrons, all right? Carbon. Now, carbon is the building block to life. Everything has carbon in it. Hold on one second. I'll be right back. Carbon is an amazing element. Carbon is literally found everywhere on Earth. In a natural form, it can be as hard as a diamond. Or as soft as the graphite on our pins. It's found in the farthest reaches of the atmosphere, to the deepest parts of the soils and rocks in the earth, to our own bodies. So basically, carbon is the building block of life on Earth. Carbon can be present in either an organic form or an inorganic form. Carbon is found in its organic form when it's part of living organisms or the remains of living organisms. The concentration of carbon determines the color black. The higher the concentration of carbon, the greater the color black would express. Each mineral on the planet, iron has 12,000 electrons per atom, calcium has 9,000, opium has a specific amount, and so it goes through the whole ramification of life. 142 minerals expresses themselves in a different way because that is necessary. If something is made by Mother Nature, one could easily use the common sense and see where this stuff 
is natural, is complete. Now we go back to the question of melanin. Would it be intelligent to ask one of the promoters of melanin, what is the electromagnetic structure of melanin? What is the amount of electrons per atom that represent this thing we call melanin? Thank you.